Hey, welcome to video number six, which I've lovingly called Camp Life. It's, you guessed it, all about life at the Kiask Camp. And in case you're just tuning in, this is one of seven videos about life at Kiask. You can see them all at kiask.com. Kiask includes the main camp, the startup camp, and the worksite. In camp and on the worksite, there are two things that are more important than anything else, safety and respect. Safety here is about everyone's personal safety and security, including yours. Sodexo security staff are in place all around camp. It's their job to make sure the rules are followed and that people stay safe. To get around, you'll need your Kiask ID card. It gets you into the theaters, the gym, the dining room, and more. As you may have heard, drugs aren't allowed at Kiask, except your own prescription drugs. Drug dogs work here every day, so you can expect to see them and for them to sniff you down. Having or using anything besides your prescription will get you kicked out of camp, which usually means you'll also lose your job. Smoking or vaping is not allowed indoors anywhere here. There are designated huddle and smoke areas outdoors. If you tamper with a smoke detector anywhere at Kiask, you can be kicked out for up to a year. And you can't walk around Kiask beyond the Camp Ring Road because of harsh weather conditions and wildlife. Those are the basics of camp safety. There's more about work safety in part seven, safety first. Respect at Kiask comes down to this. Everyone comes here to do their job well and safely, and everyone has the right to do that with respect and without fear. Everybody is part of this tight community and has a part in making it better or making it worse. The best way to get along is to take care of yourself, respect the space, be part of making Kiask good, and help out where it makes sense. The harassment and discrimination-free standard at Kiask says that everybody is valued and treated with respect and dignity. No one should be discriminated against, harassed, sexually harassed, or physically harmed in any way. Kiask also has a violence-free standard where everyone keeps a safe and secure workplace and any violence is strictly prohibited. If you have trouble like harassment or discrimination at site, you can get help by emailing respect at hydro.mb.ca. All communication is strictly confidential. You can also get help from employee retention and support services, the site liaison staff of Manitoba Hydro, Kiosk Cree Nation site reps, your supervisor or manager, your union rep, or someone else here that you can trust. Understanding is a key to respect. So Kiask has a one-day mandatory Aboriginal awareness training session that gives everyone a background on the culture, history, and traditions of the partner First Nations. Now let's talk about something I love, food. At Kiask, the kitchen serves three full meals a day with lots of choices. All the food and drinks in the kitchen are free. The kitchen is open from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. Grab-and-go food is available all the time. Around the corner and down the boardwalk a ways, there's a lounge that's open every day from 4.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. They have bar food like pizza and wings and full liquor service. You have to pay for the food and liquor in the lounge, and they only accept credit or debit cards. Liquor service is limited to three drinks per person per day. At the stores, you can buy snack food, pop, personal products, some room products, and some clothing. They accept cash, credit cards, and debit cards. Kiask has more amenities than any other camp like this in Canada. There are theaters with sports events and movies playing every day. There's a full-size indoor gym with a walking and running track, a sauna, an exercise area with free weights and machines, and there are fitness trainers on site. The entertainment center has pinball and video games, pool tables, a library, computer stations, and more. Everyone shares the public spaces at Kiask so there are rules to keep the space in good condition and well-organized. You can't bring bags and work gear into the dining room. There's a spot to leave that stuff by the door when you come in. You can't wear outdoor footwear inside, so bring indoor shoes. There is a boot room near the front door where people change out their footwear and gear. You can't take cups with lids from the kitchen into the theaters or gym, so most people get personal water bottles when they get here to use around camp. This cuts down on recycling, too. 
Most people at Kiosk do fine most of the time, but like anywhere, situations come up. It's important to take care of yourself and find support if you need it. There are lots of supports here for employees and their families. If you're dealing with something related to your job, the first step is to talk to your supervisor. If that won't work for you, nearly everyone here belongs to a trade union. These unions, collectively known as the Allied Hydro Council, help enforce the collective agreement and improve worker rights. They also represent you if you believe you've been treated unfairly. You can talk to an Allied Hydro Council site rep or visit mbtrades.ca. If you're dealing with a personal situation, employee retention and support services is available to everyone. They have confidential, professional, non-judgmental services like family and marriage counseling, addiction services, anger management, money management, grief and loss support, and more. These people are helpful and easygoing. You can drop by the office or make an appointment. They're on call 24 hours. Have you ever been to a sweat? There's a sweat lodge at site that is available to everyone. Traditional sweats are for people who are looking to clear their mind, clean their heart, heal their body, and free their spirit. It's a great experience that you won't find just anywhere. Sweats are usually held twice a month, one for the day shift and one for the night shift. Employee Retention and Support Services sends out a schedule every month of sweats, meetings, and other events. If you work for Sodexo, you also have access to their private and professional employee assistance program. Each partner First Nation community has a representative at Kiosk. If you are a member of one of these communities, you can contact your Kiosk Cree Nation site rep for support. That's a quick snapshot of life at Kiosk. Now there's only one more video in the series, part seven, Safety First. Looking forward to seeing you on the other side.